Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie. Today I have for you my October favorites. October was such an amazing month for me. I had so much fun. I tried my best to like enjoy it to the max, to be honest with you. I didn't go apple picking or pumpkin picking, but I did go to Fright Fest, which I loved. If you haven't seen the vlog, definitely check it out. I'll be linking it down below. But I hope that you guys also had an amazing month and enjoyed my Halloween videos because I had so much fun making them this year. These last few months are my favorite, to be honest with you, even though I'm not a huge fan of the cold weather, especially in New York City, but that's besides the point. I have a few items to share with you guys this month, not necessarily just makeup, which I'm excited for. Quick little update before I start though, I'm going on vacation for the first time ever to Europe! I'm so excited, I can't believe it. I'm going with my management and a few other YouTube friends, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see a travel diary, because to be honest with you, I'm already planning on filming it. If you guys want to see my day to day, definitely follow me on Snapchat and Twitter, and I'll be updating you guys, but without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, so since I was in Halloween makeup all month, this is a product that I actually mentioned a long time ago, I think. It's from Pixi. It's the Nourishing Cleansing Balm. It's to remove your makeup. And honestly, this was sent from heaven. I've had it for a long time in the bathroom, just like sitting there because I don't really use it that much. It's really oily for my taste, but for Halloween makeup, it removes every inch so nice and like soft and gentle and just like removes everything, especially the White Walker one this helped a lot but it's really good to remove your makeup and the best part is that it's from the drugstore so if you guys want to find a new cleansing removing thing this is bomb skincare i only have these two to share with you guys which i actually haven't had for all that long but i've seen such a rapid change and progress on my skin that I have to share with you because it's honestly this. I went to their event and they were talking about the science behind it and how fast it actually works, which is honestly true. Like it really does have a rapid change to your skin. Like it just feels so soft, so gentle, and it actually feels like it's restoring your skin in a way and making it a lot more firmer. I obviously don't have trouble skin, especially with wrinkles and stuff, not yet, but the younger you start, the better. I've been really loving this. I definitely recommend it. I feel like for the holidays, it would be a great gift because it is a little bit on the pricier side but totally worth it and then the eye cream is honestly the best eye cream i have tried i i don't use eye creams all that much like i honestly forget unfortunately but i'm a little scared about like my eyes in the future so i've been using this a lot more often it is the instant wrinkle filler and that's a fact not necessarily again not like i have wrinkles under my eyes but it just feels so soft and like a new skin in a way which is pretty cool and then the fact that it has that little tube super easy to apply and just like dab under the eye I really like the packaging as well so great foundation this month is what I have on right now it's the MAC studio fix fluid with 15 SPF if you guys want to see more information about it I'll be linking it down below but I am in the shade NC 45 super long lasting just great in general I love the finish of this foundation so much it's a goodie but oldie for me this month I've been using this non-stop it's the L'Oreal infallible concealer palette it has four shades this one is in the sh in the number 220 I believe me I use a darkest shade to clean my brows and it works perfectly for that. You could obviously use it as a regular concealer. It's super full coverage, but I feel like it would cake up a little bit. Haven't really used it all that much under the eyes though, but it's a great concealer. Moving on with lashes, I've recently been using Huda products and their lashes is something that I've been obsessed with. These have been my favorite lately, which are Giselle number no. one. Reminds me a lot of Ardell Wispies. The only difference to me might be the quality and the fact that you could use these a lot more times than you can use regular Ardell's Wispies. Can I talk? Or not. And then a little bit more dramatic but still like natural glam, you know, are the Samantha number no. seven. I love these so much. They're like basically this one three times. You know what I mean? Like a lot fuller and thicker. Lip products I have drugstore and high end. These are Huda Liquid Lipsticks, which the consistency, not gonna lie, took me by surprise. These are really liquidy. I'm used to like a thicker paste feel for liquid lipsticks they're really comfortable on the lips and have great pigmentation this one that i have on is flirt which has been one of my favorites it's a beautiful nude that's what it looks like right there it's like a brownie nude and then the one that i use for my cranberry tutorial is this plum one which is called famous it's like a burgundy deep red in a way i love all their shades but these two have been my favorite especially for the fall time and then these to be honest with you i was so in shock of how amazing 
they are. I wasn't expecting these to work, to be honest with you. Like, I was a little bit scared to even swatch these. They're from Ardell. They're the Ardell Matte Whipped. Holy cow, guys, when I tell you the best drugstore liquid lipstick and probably one of my top favorites, like right next to MAC liquid lipsticks are the Ardell one. If you guys see these in stores, definitely try them out because you will not be disappointed. That's what this one looks like, which is in the shade Upscale Flavor. And then I also love the Nude Photo, which is a little bit lighter. They're just amazing liquid lipsticks. This one is a little bit more brown and the other one is more peachy nude. Last two makeup items are from Tarte. This one is the Tarlet Toasted Palette. I believe their newest one. I'm obsessed with it. It's all I've been using for October. It just works amazing. The pigmentation is right on and it's all like orangey browns my kind of shade. I know I have a lot of palettes that look like this, but this one is honestly one of my favorites from their Tarlet palette. The only con that I have to say is that this shade right here, which is called Crackle, came a little bit shattered and I noticed a lot of people on Twitter saying that, that shade also came shattered so moving on with hair I've been trying out the hair food shampoo and conditioner as you guys know I love switching shampoos and just trying out new ones especially for the full time it's just great to give your hair more like you know restoration and stuff is that a word make it a lot healthier and stuff this one smells so good though let me tell you guys something I went to their event they did my hair and the smell of this stayed for like a week I know I well like for four days because I watched it in four days, but I love it so much I love the scent of them to be honest. They have different shampoo and conditioners. This one is for color care Which works great for my black hair because I've been losing like the black in my hair, you know But it's from the drugstore So definitely check it out if you guys have been looking for a new shampoo to try out now a little random has to go to these kiss nails right here. I'm in heaven I am starting to collect these and I am just I'm living life as you guys know I love painting my nails and I love nail polish in general like I love the scent of nail polish But painting them every day is a little bit tedious sometimes because I'm OCD Therefore once it's like cracked I basically start painting it off with my teeth if they get cracked or even just like waiting for them to dry It's a little bit annoying. So these impressed by kiss I've been hooked on. They have the square shape that have like the regular one and also some oval little tips one The only con that I have to say is that like after a few days, maybe like the second day It starts getting attached to your hair. I touch my hair a lot I run my fingers a lot through my hair So yeah, it does get stuck a little bit, but that's besides the point before I move on to the super random one This one is just a flat iron. I've been using recently for my short hair. It's from GHD and it works Amazing. Oh my gosh. I've never really flat ironed my hair like that, especially when I had longer hair I used to curl it every single day, but with short hair I've been loving just like having my hair straight. It's just a lot easier You don't have to use a heat tool every single day like I did You just flat iron it one day and you're good to go for like four days My favorite part about it to be honest with you It's how fast it heats up and also the fact that it has one button So you don't have to stress like oh is it too high? Is it too low? It just basically gives you a good estimate heat number i'm not too sure it's like 200 and something and yeah it just strains my hair really nicely it doesn't feel like it's frying it which i'm all about so yeah like the packaging as well now for those that know me like really know me know that i hate reading for example the simplest things like little pop-up things on my computer whenever they come up i don't ever really read it i just press okay and get it out of the way so if one day a little pop-up thing says hey natalie your computer's gonna crash and everything's gonna delete i'm just gonna press okay so yeah fun fact about me that being said i got some books on top of that i hate poems growing up i used to hate poems to me they were boring i couldn't understand them the main reason why i hated it so much is because every time we would get tested on a poem I would get it wrong like describing the poem and stuff for some reason I never described it right and I always got that answer wrong so I always hated poem long story short I mixed the two things that I hate poems and books and it got me to be obsessed and in love with reading now so these are from Rupi Kaur I think I first got the milk and honey because it was super popular and everyone was talking about it so I got it I was obsessed with it and now I've just been lending it to my friends and family so I don't have it right now to share with you but this one is her newest one which is the sun and her flowers many of you have been loving me sharing my favorite ones on snapchat so this is a book i get a lot of questions on it and then i recently got the princess saves herself in this one these are a lot longer and more poem like so it was a little harder to understand at least for me uh that being said i like the rupee ones better if you guys want to find a better sale though get it on target i got the rupee ones at barnes and nobles but i actually saw these for 20 percent off at target and it's where i got this one so if you guys want to find a little bit 
more cheaper, get it at Target, and if not, get it at Barnes and Noble. Alright, that was intense. Time for my favorite part, which is music favorites! I got this microphone from L'Oreal as PR package. Has my name, has rhinestones. I don't know. They were like, you know what, Natalie, you need a new microphone, and I'm all about it, so it's so cute, right? Funny how time goes by. Have respect for myself, that river and dry. You reach the limit, I wasn't enough. I've been burning, yes, I've been burning. She told me that I'm not enough. Yeah. And she let enjoyed my monthly favorites let me know if you have any new products that you want me to try out if you guys want to keep up with me during my trip definitely follow me on snapchat and twitter but see you next time bye I have to say oh crap fuck me right let's start with this is dying great i hope you guys Yeah, I'm so sorry, I need good vibes, if not leave me alone.